Hey guys, welcome back. I'm excited to have you here. So today's equation is Roseanne and money less balloons, equaling the Mandela effect. You're probably wondering, what does Roseanne, money, or balloons have to do with anything? For those of you who might not be familiar with this specific effect, I want you to think back to a time when you would fill out a little card or an application and send it into Publishers Clearinghouse. Think about the commercials that used to play on TV. Think about all the things that were associated with that process. You would fill out the application and then you would hope and pray that you won the money. How was the winnings delivered? How was it portrayed on TV? Do you remember who was delivering it? So if you're not familiar with this effect and you don't want me to give it away, you want to give your own mind time to think about it, I definitely recommend pausing this video now and then coming back when you think you have an idea of what your memory is telling you. Beyond this point in the video, we're going to talk about what other people in the Mandela community are already saying about this. For those of us who are already familiar with the effect or want to learn more, I first want to thank Rusty Shackelford. Rusty Shackelford is an alias. His real name is Dale Gribble. He's located in Texas, and he lives next door to one of the finest propane and propane accessory salesmen the state of Texas has to offer. This article really says it all. It was updated January 26th of 2017. When Ed McMahon passed away, one question came up over and over again. How will Publishers Clearinghouse notify their winners now? The answer is easy. They'll notify their winners the same way they always have because Ed McMahon never worked for Publishers Clearinghouse. For many years now, a popular sweepstakes myth places Ed McMahon at the front door of Publisher Clearinghouse's multi-million dollar winners with an oversized check and a bottle of champagne. Personally, I remember it with a thing of balloons. They would ring the doorbell, Publishers Clearinghouse, you're a winner, presenting you with this huge check, and yes, I do believe it was Ed McMahon. But if you do your Google research, you'll find out that Ed McMahon never worked for Publishers Clearinghouse. He was never a spokesman for them either. He was never a contractor for them either. There is no relation between him and Publishers Clearinghouse. The clip I'm about to show you is what Rusty suggested we take a look at. It is the Season 8, Episode 5, Halloween, the final chapter, of a TV show called Roseanne. Who are you supposed to be? Who am I? I'm Ed McMahon. Despite not having the balloons, Ed McMahon clearly showed up at Roseanne's house with a big check. So is it all really just an illusion? Or has this Mandela effect been proven? Thanks for watching, guys. Definitely thank you for the comments. Again, awesome find, Rusty. If anybody else has any other Mandela effects you want me to showcase, please let me know. I'll be happy to throw them up here on the channel so we can get the word out. Till next time, I'll be seeing you in a few days.